Perry, the Generac IQ2000 to the Pulsar PG2000IS. I'm gonna. This is my attempt on the Generac to start my uh, air conditioning unit on top of my RV. So let's go ahead and get it ready, and let's just give it the benefit of the doubt and put it in turbo mode. And I'm going to show you, I've got an air conditioner on top of this thing. It's a 13.5 BTU. I don't know why this thing's running a little bit rough. But it only does that on turbo mode. Anyway, let's go in the camper. Well, let's do it. Now, I turned everything off on the breaker box except for my air conditioner okay so let's go ahead and turn the fan on on okay so this is fan only okay let's see what the little generator is doing fan only it's at one bar now we're going to start the compressor. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to, for the benefit of the doubt, put it on low. And put it on cool. We'll see what happens. It immediately tripped out. Overload. It will not run my RV air conditioner no matter what. I've tried several different ways. I've tried, I've even let it sit 15 minutes before between tries. Generac loses the competition. The little pulsar starts it like a chimp. So let me shut my air condition back off. Off. Well, it's not going to do nothing now because it's tripped. Anyway, when I plug it into my little, well, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'll just shut this one down. Let's crank this one up. I've absolutely had great results with the little pulsar. Okay, now let's take it off the economy mode. Pulsar just runs much better, smoother, nicer. I'm impressed. You can hear it running the fan on the air conditioner now. So now let's go put the load on it that just sent the other generator into a tizzy. Let's walk back in here. Let's turn on the AC. See the fan on high? Low. Now let's turn it on cool. Watch what it does. Well, I guess there's a delay since we just tried it. But the little pulsar has been cranking it up every single time. And look at my other video, it starts it like a champ. And I don't understand why the Generac will not start this air conditioner, but the Pulsar will do it every time. I don't want to make you guys hold on here and wait, but, you know, you might want to see this during a regular cycle. I want to show you how it starts this AC. But it does take a little bit of time for something to change in the air conditioner to allow it to start back. In the next video, I'm going to try it just in regular mode because it starts the air conditioner so easy.
be about to start up. Okay, we only have the fan right now because it's not really cold. Well, no. Oh, there it goes. Okay, here. It started right up. The overload light did not come on. Hear the compressor kick in. Now, it starts this air conditioner every time like a champ. The Generac will not start this air conditioner not even one time. I've tried 10 times on the Generac. It won't start the AC, but the little Pulsar will. Hear the compressor running really nicely. Now we, I don't know, we could have probably started it on high speed. Turn the fan on high speed. Watch the temperature drop. Very capable little generator. Now, once you have everything running, I can go ahead and turn all my breakers on down here. There went my charger. Now, notice my lights got brighter. Now that's everything. That's basically a low battery. That's my air conditioner, everything. And we still don't have an overload light on. But she's working hard. Anyway, if you want an awesome generator, this little pulsar is the bomb. If I turn it on the economy now, it don't, uh, it maybe comes down an inch. But it's running my charger. It's running pretty much everything. Uh, I'm sure if I turn my refrigerator on, we'll see what it takes to trip this little puppy out. I'm sure that will send it into the red. There we go, the overload light came on. So now I can still turn that off. And it didn't trip out. But it did show overload, so I don't know how long it would have ran it, but anyway, that's my comparison between the two generators. The Pulsar clearly wins the competition.